How's it going, you guys? This is Chris with Fire TV Solutions 518, bringing you another app walkthrough. And today we're going to be going over those annoying little ads you get when you're trying to use an app such as Cinema or any other official app that has advertisements. Let me go ahead and show them to you. So if we open up Cinema, there are a couple different kinds of ads. The first one is going to be a banner ad. You can see that when you go into Settings. And it'll pop up right in the bottom there, currently advertising a Visa gift card. And there's another banner ad when you're trying to load your streams for a movie per se. So um, it's right here, it loads right underneath the watch video button. And again, it's a Visa gift card banner. But the most annoying kind of ad is the one that pops up after you're done streaming your video. Um, they're usually full screen advertisements, so if I go here and I play a video. Alright, it's playing, so if I just go ahead and back out of it. Here we have it, it's a full screen ad. Um, not something I like to see on my device, so I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and get rid of those ads and prevent them from ever coming up. If we open up File Linked, we're going to go to the Fire TV Solutions 518 store. That code is going to be 757-845-71. Again, that's 757-845-71. And that's going to bring you right into Chris's Fire TV Solutions, the best Fire TV apps in the 518. And if you go into the Install First section, it is a DNS Changer Lily. You can just dismiss any pop-ups that come up. Again, that's DNS Changer Lily. We're going to click on the download icon and it should download fairly quickly. See, it's already done. And then click on the play button to install. All right, once the app is installed, we can go ahead and click on open. All right, once the app's open, you can see there's a list of DNS servers here. We would want to scroll up to the top to where it says add server. And the first line is going to be the name of your server. So we're going to make that ad guard. That's A D G U A R D. Ad guard. And then click next. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put in the first DNS server line, which is going to be 176.103.130.130. Again, that's 176 dot one zero three dot one three zero dot one three zero and I'll make sure to put that in the description as well and then we click on next and the next server line is going to be one seven six dot one zero three dot one three zero dot one three one so we're just gonna Add it by an increment of one. So again, that's 176.103.130.131. And that'll be your second server line. All right, so here we have it. The name of the server is going to be AdGuard. Then the first line, 176.103.130.130. Then 176.103.130.131. And we're going to scroll down to Add. All right, now that we've added it, we can go ahead and click on it. It'll turn blue. Then we can scroll all the way down to connect. It will ask us about a connection request. We're going to click on OK to add that via VPN connection. And then that's it. You're connected. Now you can go back into your app of choice. For us, it's going to be cinema. And see that there should be no advertisements in any of those places. So there's no need to go ahead and get a modified version of the app. You can just get the official version. That way they update and you don't have to worry about any advertisements by using this DNS changer. So there's nothing here in the settings section. We would normally have gotten that Visa banner if we click on a movie. Underneath watch video, there's going to be no banner there also. So nothing that we'd have to worry about on this screen. And if we click on a movie, when you would back out of it before, 
you would get a pop a big huge pop-up ad now you're not going to get anything it just brings you right back to the menu so that's pretty much it it's pretty simple and a great way to get rid of advertisements and make sure that you're always running official applications if you ever do need to turn off the DNS changer for any particular reason you can always just go back to it scroll all the way down to disconnect and click on disconnect and that will go ahead and stop the DNS connection uh, one thing I did want to show you is if you go to the top right hand corner and click on settings you can actually set it so that um, the DNS would connect on system startup meaning if you ever needed to restart it or turn off your fire stick for any reason when you went to turn it back on this would automatically connect for you so it'd be kind of an out of sight out of mind thing well, this is Chris with Fire TV Solutions, and I really hope this helped you guys out. Have a good one.